Well, it's Sunday, which is one of my favorite days because it's cheat day. So I have a three hour window to eat whatever I would like. Um, not every Sunday will I do this, but um, maybe every other Sunday, sometimes every third Sunday, I'll give myself three hours to eat. Uh, I find that people that have a whole cheat day, you know, it gets kind of ridiculous. You feel sluggish and not very good on Monday. So I give myself that three hour window so I don't stuff myself all at once and I don't feel like crap. It gives me that, that little bit of time. Um, so we'll be able to film that today. Uh, Sunday also means I slept in. So I slept in real good too. It's like 1230. So I got a good sleep and luckily you know, my wife let me because she fed the baby and took care of him this morning so I could get some rest because uh, I try to wake up early all week for cardio. So uh, I'm going to go do cardio right now and then I'm going to go shopping. I got to pick up some food because it's also food prep day. So let's get some stuff done. Well, done an hour of cardio and then I had a protein shake to tie me over until I get home to have my breakfast. I'll have my normal breakfast, some fish and some eggs. Um, but I wanted to go a little bit in-depth into why I do cheat meal Sundays. Uh, you can really pick any day. Uh, typically the reason for a cheat meal is to have that freedom of eating something that you don't normally eat every day of the week. But also, if you tend to do the same diet for a long time, you'll plateau. And by plateau, it's a, if you're trying to gain size, that will plateau. If you're trying to lose body fat, that will plateau. So you're kind of shocking your system of having something it's not used to. And typically it's meant to kind of kickstart your metabolism again, either way. Um, but also I'd like to do it Sundays because Mondays is chest day for me and chest is one of my favorite workouts and it's one of my strongest workouts and I constantly want to get it higher and heavier. So uh, my max bench right now that I've ever done is 555 pounds and I want to get to 600. So Sundays if I eat some extra calories, some extra carbs, um, some extra fats, whatever it may be that I choose to eat in that three hour window, then it helps my chest work out the next day. Uh, I'm going to go over to Walmart because the wife needs some groceries um, and I'll probably pick out a couple snacks for my cheat today. Uh, so we'll discuss them in a little bit. Well, before I can enjoy my cheat meal, it's food prep. So here's the turkey, here's some garlic, some reduced sugar ketchup, sugar-free barbecue sauce, minced onions, and some bold and spicy chipotle seasoning which goes on the turkey to make our a sloppy joe mix and then i have the chicken which i cut into cubes and put in the crock pot which i'll put on tonight uh, we make shredded chicken because it's terrible just eating plain chicken breast all the time and because chicken has been such a staple of my diet for years uh, since i was 14 you got to find new ways to cook it so we're going to do that and then we'll come over here and we'll cut up the asparagus and green beans and we'll put them in. So let's we'll start the process. First, we grab some of the garlic. And we'll put it in the pan. Spread it up a bit. And turn on the burner. After that, we get the turkey. We'll put it on the garlic to cook. Sorry, covered it a little bit. So let's get the turkey in there. So now that that's in, we'll add some onion. So we coat the top with the onions. And after the onions are coated, we get some spices on it. And then I'll mix up the turkey so it will start cooking. Now that that's set to cook, uh, as we stir it up and make sure that the turkey's cooking, we'll continue to add some of this seasoning here. And then comes on the barbecue sauce and ketchup and we'll make our sloppy joe mix. Uh, so let's start cubing up the chicken. Looks like Jax is fascinated by the food prep as well. <laughs> Look at him. He's staring at the food. He can't wait to get some solid food in him. Mommy's trying to help. But he just wants to be held. Look at him. He's so cute. Hey, buddy. Put that fist up. Put that fist up. There we go. Now that we've cooked up the turkey, 
Uh, it's got the seasoning on it throughout stirring it. You add seasoning here and there. And then comes the sugar-free barbecue sauce. So we put that on. Uh, it's probably going to take all the, what's left in this. We might have to open up another, another container and add a little bit more sauce on. But some of that. And then we grab the reduced sugar ketchup. And we skirt that across the top. Add some of that. And then we do some stirring. And you just see how much is in it. And if it's nice and saucy, then you leave it. And if not, you add some more. Now for the veggies. We take two spoonfuls of this, put it in the bowl, and we heat it up to make it into creamy substance. Here's the coconut oil, as you can see. We got black pepper. We add a teaspoon of that. If it wants to come out on me. We add that. Then a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then half a teaspoon of salt. As you can see, I like my on it supplements. We've now mixed it all up. There's some of the asparagus, so we dump a little bit on. And then we'll continue with that asparagus and the green beans that we're preparing now. And this is Mischief's homemade protein bread that she can't get enough of. And she's going to tell you what she puts in it. Well, it's the most amazing protein bread ever. Because every time you make protein bread, it's always very dense and generally very dry. But this stuff actually bakes up really good. And it is a very, very soft, so it actually makes really, really good sandwich bread. And it's made from Quest protein powder, which is the most amazing baking protein powder I've ever encountered. And uh, it's just really good stuff. It's just super low carb, very high protein. It's basically just your protein powder. It uses one of the Quest protein bars. And then the rest is just your general baking ingredients with like salt, egg whites, uh, baking powder, a couple of little things here and there like that. It's good stuff though. Now that the oven is preheated, it's time for the vegetables to go in the oven. So, here they go. And then they go in for 10 minutes. And then we'll have some veggies for the week. Here is the cheat meal for this evening. A little Little Caesars pizza. A pumpkin cheesecake square donut. Some birthday cake Oreos. Well, because they're birthday cake Oreos. A little Butterfinger. Some crazy bread, because how can you not like crazy bread? And chicken wings from Smoky Bones, which are tremendous. Which, of course, the wife will be helping me with. Uh, Wife will probably help me with a couple cookies too, but the rest is for me. Well, stomach hurts because cheat meal is over. Uh, I'm going to get the garbage and the recycling out, and then I'm going to sit down with Jax and Mischief and watch a movie. Uh, we might go with Jurassic World, uh, just because we both enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm going to end this video on that, and uh, giving you a little look at the donuts and the horror figure collection that the wife enjoys see lots of donuts and monsters uh, and tomorrow I'm going to start with how I finish off with the the chicken from the crock pot and go throughout the day because we have wrestling class tomorrow then tomorrow is tape sorry got the burps from all the food and uh, soda so tomorrow we're gonna review tape before the class so I'll let you in on the 
what we're watching and everything tomorrow and hopefully you guys will continue watching i'm having fun shooting them and well i'm super full now so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that okay we're gonna end on this note cute baby hopefully we'll get more people watching look <laughs> how cute he is look at him look at him so chubby and cute <laughs> look at his shirt I thought it said have a C on it, you know? Mummy's major trunk, because look at him. <laughs> so that's how we're ending the video this week. Say bye, Jax.